Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Peter here. Today's video is from the house of Suspillo. It's called Overture. This is a house created by Sergio Momo of Sergioff and Kemi Blending Magic. Both houses are, that don't impress me, to be honest, personally, although I, they get a lot of love from other people. Um, this one is a bad introduction to Suspiro for me, I, I've got to be honest. So if you own this, probably just don't bother watching this review, because I might upset you. It opens up with an obvious synthetic kind of sweetness that's kind of ruins the opening for me. Almost like a fruity sweetness, it's a little bit unusual. Uh, you get Ylang Ylang and Magnolia florals coming through, which is a nice element, but there's an underlining synthetic sweetness which ruins it. There is cashmere in here, which is a, a commonly used synthetic that I own. It's used in all sorts, it's used in designer fragrances, it's used in niche. Frederick Marl has used it, Nasamato have used it. It is commonly used, it's in this as well. The cashmere gives it a very soft, airy kind of vibe. It's mixed with something else, it's not just cashmere and there's definitely other notes in there. And how it combines together makes smell like cotton wool, it's very very soft and like it feels like you're in a cloud is the best way I can describe the fragrance. Imagine being in a ball of cotton wool that's kind of a little bit spruced up with a bit of Ylang Ylang and a little bit of magnolia and a little bit of vanillin. I say vanillin because it smells like synthetically sweet, it's not a natural smelling sweetness. And that's it, like that's literally the entire fragrance. Something happens in the mid where you get a little bit of cinnamon coming through which is kind of spicy and then it gets aggressive. It, there's, there's, a, there's an hour window where it makes me sneeze. It, I have a, like an aversion to it where I like it's just gross. It's a very harsh, aggressive something that comes out in the mid that like literally scratches my nose and it's not pleasant. That lasts about an hour and it goes away. I've no idea what that is. If it's something in, in combination with the cinnamon, I'm not sure, but it's it doesn't work well on me. Then it goes back to just smelling of cotton wool and then it just disappears. The performance is pretty tragic. I get, if I was being super generous, I would say five hours longevity, zero projection. And what I mean by zero projection is it's literally a skin scent from the moment you spray it. 20 minutes maybe of a soft projection and I'm literally, I have to be there. Testing this, I was like that. I, I literally nose to hand to smell anything. It's completely flat on my skin. You might have better look, maybe it's personal skin chemistry, but this thing just does not project on me at all. And that's with generous amount of sprays. I, I wasn't stingy with my sample. So performance is terrible. The scent is bland and synthetic, apart from the little bit of floral there, but the, the florals are kind of light. It smells like a designer fragrance to me. I have to be perfectly honest, it doesn't really particularly smell quality or niche. It smells like a women's designer perfume, very simplistic, very light, artificially sweet with a, just a synthetic cotton wool that smells very feminine and soft. To me it smells very inferior, I, I don't understand how niche can sell stuff like that. I personally think it's quite poor. Um, you might have a different opinion, but you know, this channel is my opinion, <laughs> so sorry. Yeah, it's honestly not one I would recommend personally. I don't think you're getting value for money. I think it smells cheap. Totally inferior to what a niche fragrance should be. It, it smells like a designer, not even an expensive designer. I don't understand how niche get away with selling this, apart from it being in a pretty bottle and a high price tag. It, it genuinely confuses me. I'm sure there's people that own it, and I'm sorry if I've offended you if you do. Not my intention, but I, I do have to be honest in my reviews. This isn't a good first impression for me. I'm hoping my next Suspiro sample is better. I've got one that does get really good reviews and gets talked about quite a bit, um, which I'm looking forward to testing and reviewing. I'm hoping it's a lot better than this one. Sorry, I can't be more enthusiastic, but I have to keep it real. I'll see you guys next time. Take care. Bye.